the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another one, guys. We're going to talk about ZKML, do an update on ZKML in this video. But before we do, we're going to talk about a meme coin that recently launched, um, you know, less than 48 hours ago. That's already surpassed a 1.3, uh, probably a 1.4 billion market cap at the time of recording this video. Let's just refresh the screen. 1.5 billion market cap. All right, guys. And this is called BOM, B-O-M-E. Okay, guys, so this one just literally came out of nowhere. I literally posted this to my Patreons um, 10 hours ago, as you can see here, right? Um, it came across my radar. It was at a 650 or just under a 650 million market cap. I know it's pretty high. We'd love to get, you know, tokens like this at like $1 million market cap or even $100,000 market cap. But sometimes you just have to follow the money. All right, guys, I said that it's the most interesting meme that's come across my radar. It's called Boom. It launched yesterday at the time of recording the video uh, by an apparent artist. It ran to 650 million plus by the time I had seen it. Um, the volume is insane, plus it gained a huge following on social media. It's given off early Pepe vibes. So I did buy some um, at the time when I posted that. I posted this earlier about an hour ago, up over 2x since I posted about it last night. Uh, 1.3 billion market cap at the time that I posted this. Okay, guys, obviously now it's sitting a lot higher than that at a one point. Where are we? It's a 1.5 billion market cap. Absolutely insane. How does a coin go from zero to a 1.5 billion market cap in 48 hours? Absolutely crazy, guys. I'm posting about these in a Patreon, so come and join us in Patreon. Link is in the description. But what is BOM? Okay, guys, B-O-M-E. Um, and will it follow with? Well, it's already following with, okay? But will it hit $1? That's the question. The price is currently sitting at uh, 2 cents. <clears throat> 2.2 cents. Okay, guys. Now, this was launched by an artist. All right, guys. And, uh, or, you know, an artist. If we go to the Twitter profile, which we do in a minute. It was launched by an artist less than 48 hours ago. And it's already smashed a 1 billion, 1.5 billion market cap. Okay, guys. Um, but is it a good decision to buy it right now? Well, basically, Binance Futures have just launched or are going to be launching within the next few hours this particular project. So, you know, what normally happens is when Binance launches a project, um, when it's been pumping, this will be the Binance pump, okay? And then after it launches, it'll probably come down. I'm not saying that you should buy this now, okay? What I'm saying is this may go up further. But um, ultimately, it will come down. So when it comes down and it begins to find a range, that will be a great time to be buying this token, okay, for the bull run. Because, you know, this is giving me early Pepe vibes, okay? And if you would have bought the pullback on Pepe after the Binance listing, you'd be sitting with a crazy profit right now. Um, in fact, if we pull up the Pepe chart, right? Let's pull up the Pepe chart over on Ethereum. By the way, this is on Solana. If I didn't make that clear, you see Solana meme coin uh, boom. Okay, guys. And um, it actually stands for book of meme. We'll jump into the Twitter in a minute. But um, Pepe is going absolutely crazy. If we zoom out, they say when in doubt, zoom out. Okay, guys. But um, if we zoom out, okay. So this was the initial pump, okay. And this we hear we, this we see over here is the Binance dump right over here. Okay, guys, that's the Binance dump, and then it's ranging. All right, guys, and now we're seeing Pepe blast off into outer space. Okay, guys, it's gone absolutely crazy now, sitting at a 3.5 billion market cap. I believe over here Pepe topped out at about a 1.6 billion market cap, and then after Binance it dropped. And then, you know, after that, um, you know, it's great accumulation phase. All right, guys. And now we see a huge pump to the upside. Um, other ones that are pumping, like, for example, if we go over to, let's go over to Dex Screener so we can pull up uh, Solana charts. Dex Screener. And uh, we'll look at WIF. Okay, guys. So nobody's really talking about Bonk anymore. I know that Bonk's probably going to do well as well. It's, it's still going to pump. Okay, guys. But if we pull up Dog with Hat. Um, let's see if we, you can tell I don't get this chart up much, do you? Uh, can't you? Um, dog with hat. Okay, dog with hat. Let's find that. Okay, so on Solana, dog with hat is pumping. All right, guys, so we know that we're having a meme coin season. 
right? We know we're having a mean coin season, but, um, you know, I mean, when's the best time to buy these types of coins? Okay, he's clearly it's after the pullback, all right, guys? Now, the problem is you will get FOMO because they just keep pumping. Me, personally, I got FOMO and I bought it when it was already pumping, all right, guys? But it hadn't gone parabolic yet. Um, and ultimately, that was a good decision <laughs> uh, because I'm in a profit, right? But um, again, take caution. Okay, guys, take caution when you're buying this kind of thing. Okay, so the artist who created this is a guy called Dark Farms. Okay, guys, um, he says here 600 plus million. This was yesterday. A good starting point for two days. I'm an artist, not a trader. And this show is art. No plans to sell a single bone. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. If you'd like to know... It, sorry, if you like the show, you know my public wallets across all chains for tips. Amount doesn't really matter. Thank you for all your support. And so on. All right, guys. So this guy is basically the person who created it. And this is basically for meme culture. Um, it's art. You know, artists are a little bit, you know, weird and different. And, you know, he created something that crypto Twitter and, you know, social media has gone absolutely crazy for. Um, not sure how he did it, but he's done it, and it's the, the price has been going absolutely crazy. All right, guys. So, you know, I wanted to highlight that one because ultimately, you know, uh, I'm not making videos about everything, but I did share this on the Patreon, and um, you know, if you want, you know, gems like this as well, um, because I'm not talking as much about meme coins as I used to. Um, yeah, this, you know, that that's where you can find this sort of stuff. Okay, guys. I want to do an update on ZKML, okay, ZKML um, is, has been pumping, okay, we see this pump over here, I've talked about this a few times on the channel, you know that I'm extremely bullish on ZKML, it's in the privacy sector, um, you know, transactions, and uh, all that sort of stuff, okay guys, um, it's deep in, okay, they have a, I can't rem remember what it is, I showed you it on the video, but they've got a device as well that they're working on. But um, ultimately, why is this pumping? Okay, guys, um, one of the main reasons be uh, that that is pumping is because Alex Becker has now shielded or partnered up with and is advising ZKML. Um, he put this tweet out the day before yesterday, uh, or it was, I, I can't, it might have been a little bit, it might have been the day before, the day before yesterday, but... Um, he said, if we just go down to where he talked about, um, he said, thus, I've taken huge stakes in ATOR and ZKML, as well as taken advisory roles to help guide them in growth. Okay, so obviously we know that he's bullish on deep in AI uh, and AI, but also privacy altogether. Okay, guys, and he reckons that this will make POW OXO levels 300 to 400 million market cap. Okay, guys. Potentially, potentially, okay, guys. So ZKML is currently sitting at a seventy, just under a seventy-one million market cap. It has been fluctuating and ranging within this range. Um, but ultimately, Alex Becker, normally when he puts out a tweet, um, it's normally followed by a video at some point. Okay, guys. So a lot of people are speculating that Alex is going to talk about it. It's pro he probably is. It's it's highly probable that he will, for the simple fact that. He has taken advisory roles to help guide them in growth. Okay, obviously he's a businessman. He's he's built a multi-million dollar marketing company, I believe, in the past as well. So he knows what he's doing. Um, so that's how he gets these advisory roles. Okay, guys, he's not just an influencer. But um, privatizing deep in and the ability to privatize all transactions on any chain, ZKML is going to be incredibly important to gaming and AI, endless other applications in crypto, not to mention the actual ATOR hardware. So he goes on to talk about ATOR as well. Um, you guys will probably know what ATOR is as well. That's also a privacy project. Um, but ZKML uh, specifically is what I'm highlighting right here. Um, a short period after that, um, a, a partnership was announced between ATOR and ZKML. I'm not sure if it's Alex Becker who brought them together. But um, here we have it. A first external utility built on ATOR network has commenced development. ZKML Systems is building the first ZK-powered instant encrypted messaging app with all message messaging traffic. I can't even speak, guys. With all messaging traffic encrypted through the ATOR network. 
and so on. You can see that. You can pause it and read the rest here. Okay, guys. But not only that, but Alex Becker then chimed in on that and says, absolute checkmate. All right, guys. So, you know, he's bullish on ZKML, basically, and ATOR, right? And this partnership. And this is ultimately good for the price of ZKML. <coughs> I've been a little bit under the weather over the past few days, which is why I haven't made a video, so bear with me. But um, ultimately, the price action for ZKML is looking extremely bullish. We are ranging in a very nice uptrend, and I see higher prices from here. Uh, so congratulations if you did get in on this, okay? Um, one of the previous projects that Alex Becker talked about, only very briefly, uh, in the AI sector, they went absolutely crazy. I know you think I'm going to say OPSEC, but no, I'm not talking about OPSEC, which has been going absolutely crazy, but it is on a pullback at the moment. Okay, guys, but um, it's GPU. Okay, uh, let's find the GPU chart, node AI. Okay, guys, and he literally only mentioned it briefly on video. Okay, um, and he didn't even mention this actual one. And that was over here. Okay. And then since then, it's been going absolutely crazy. Okay. And I expect or hope that we can see similar price action in ZKML. Okay, guys. Um, I'm just looking at the bone chart. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I expect to see, um, you know, upside from ZKML. Okay, guys, um, I'm actually going to end the video there because I can feel my cough trying to come up and disturb me. So um, that's really what I've got for you in this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, tick the little bell for notifications. Link for the Patreon is in the description. Come and join us over here and I'll see you in the next video.